Hi, my name's Colin. I'm from Stockport in the UK and today I'd like you to join me in painting this watercolour. Hi and welcome to another watercolour demonstration. This one is called The Old Farmhouse so we'll mix up some colour washes first and then we can apply them to the paper. So first of all we'll have some Naples yellow and then we'll have some cobalt blue and I must explain I've just added some water into this mixing tray got two cobalt blues and into that some burnt sienna just to grey the mixture down to a nice light grey colour little bit in here but not directly into that other tray putting in some raw sienna touch more and into the tray I will introduce a light spot so I'm just going to add some cadmium yellow and those will be your washes for your sky into this little one we'll have just a little bit light red and while we're here just take some clean water mix some light red to that ultramarine we we'll mix up three different colours to this a bit lighter and redder. Take one up, pull it out there. We'll mix up some greens. This is ultramarine, cad yellow. Just one green. Then we just add a little cadmium red to it. And this will effectively grey that green down onto the other side and mixing them like this on the palette into pools just allows you to dip into them easier once more touch your red just to grey it down Almost a yellow. There you have three shades of green, a bit of red, just to grey that down. Just need to lighten that up a little bit more. Some more light red in here. some cobalt blue more light red there you have all sorts of shades of maroon <clears throat> I've stretched my paper and I'm just going to take the excess water off the sky apply some masking fluid to some of the bushes for the branches and some masking fluid to the tops of the walls because I want to keep them white and some drops here drops in so they look like pebbles and they will be done after this is the Naples yellow straight forward into the hill we'll streak some raw sienna in the background Now to create the bright spot, this is the cadmium yellow light and this will be the underpainting for the green that will go on, we'll do just a little bit in here 
Not to strengthen the raw sienna up in places in the foreground. Got the excess runoff to that then some light red just to add some interest pull it down with the fall of land you can shape your background hills sunspot a stronger mix of the raw sienna on top the lighter wash the cobalt blue <clears throat> with the raw sienna we've got the darker mix cobalt blue burnt sienna now that the paper is just damp we can add some cloud formations and this is a stronger mix Cobalt blue and burnt sienna. A couple of streaks in here. And allow that to completely dry. Once your sky is dry, we can come back and see the background hills here. And I'm just going to re wet that area with some fresh clean water I'm going to drop the green that we made earlier that kind of very very light green say no to that one this one is just just a touch of the light red Strengthen it up in areas. We'll come round and re-wet the middle ground. Got the same mix of yellow. Pull it round with the <coughs> fall of ground. The yellow. A bit dark next to the wall. The back of the house. Some excess paint off. Soften into the yellow with a damp brush. Soften this edge. Yeah, I'll do it that way. So it makes it look like the grass area fades out into nothing. That's it. Put in that little bit I missed there. The same mix. Just put some flat grass in. Damp brush. Soften these edges, soften it onto the path, same on this side, some, we can add some darks, soften off this back edge into the wall, same here, because I want this foreground really really deep I'm going to pull some more ultramarine into that with a touch more cadmium red to grey it I'm going to put some real dark areas in clean brush once again soften off the edges We'll just wet these bushes or we'll put some background colour which will be the light red just a touch of the darker light red and cobalt blue you get a very soft violet now that it's all nice and dry just a bit just a tiny bit damp I've just added a couple more bushes here, we're just doing the same as what we did there and I'm just going to stroke in some clean water 
to the roof of the farm building. Take any excess off with the brush. Put a grey glue. Bring it into this part here. Got a very weak wash, even that's too strong. That's a grey glue. That's everywhere. With the green that you grade down with the red, maybe just a touch more. We can add some green to this. Moss is growing. Some in here as well, a bit darker. Cobalt blue. Just in areas just to add interest. Just get all that merged together. Okay. red and ultramarine, sorry, cobalt blue. And in the grey. And we'll add that. So it doesn't look like it stood out in midair. Take a damp brush and just pull it into the grass. Same on this side. bottom this time. All that together. Some kitchen towel. There. Oh, with some light red. Or your stipple brush. You can actually use a sponge for this. The red. Same on this one. And allow yourself to come into this hill. And then it will tie the hill with the foreground. I think we'll add another bush here. I'm going to mix the cobalt blue and light red. This will stipple on just to darken. Nice and dark. Into there. Whilst that is still wet, we have an even darker mix that we can bring the bottom of the bush because this would be in shadow using a damp brush which is a fully loaded brush with water and just wipe it on a cloth or on some kitchen towel Soften off under here, just bring some of that colour into your painting and you will end up with automatic shadows. Same here, just soften it in, even though it's behind the wall, down. Some light red, or the chimneys, make that a bit so that's a mixture of because this side of the house will be in shadow, re-wetting it slightly. The umber. To the blue side. Just strengthen it up under the eaves, the gable end. As you 
you don't want this to be too dark. Just wet underneath the eaves here. Put some shadow. Very damp. Soften it off. Very fine brush. Some ultramarine burnt umber. And this is a double zero rigger. And we are just going to everything is drying. We can do the trees in the back. So I'm going to put the trunks on with a mixture of light red and cobalt blue. Just put the trunks in. This layer in. And two marley bits with a mixture of ultramarine. Bleed into one side, pull some into the branches. Just do the same to every tree. Tree trunks in, like that. Quick trick. Just turn your board around. This will make it easier for you to paint the branches with the same mix of burnt umber and ultramarine. You can start to pull the branches out. the very very tip of the brush this is a detail brush you can use the rigger I'll probably change the rigger in a moment because of the time involved in painting these I'll turn the camera off and we'll see what the end result is come back I hope you got your trees looking something like that probably take you about 10 minutes I'm going to show you a real easy way to put foliage on with the same dark colour of ultramarine and burnt umber is really let it down let's just test it that's fine and with the brush on its side just dry brush stroke The outer foliage working around the branches and the reason I've not used a stipple brush is it would put too much detail in and actually these trees are just there to support and surround the farmhouse try not to get very too much carried away with this and the other thing about doing it this way is that you keep all the detail. I hope you can see that. And I would say I've just mixed up some more ultramarine and burnt umber. But this is a very quite a strong mix, so there's not much water in it. So we'll put the beams in. Okay, I'll zoom the camera in a bit. All I've done is just um, done the beams with a straightforward mixture of burnt umber and ultramarine, define the windows, and then put a shadow side on the right hand side and just dot the panes of glass in. And they're only small panes of glass because of the age of these cottages, they didn't have large panes of glass. So it's mean a burnt umber. And we'll try and put some roofing tiles in just to define parts of the roof. Check the strength. May need to be a bit stronger than that. That's better. And just pick out areas of interest. Carry on putting these in, and we'll see what it looks like later. Hopefully you've got your roof looking something like that. So I've just turned the camera off because you have more time at home than I do here. And I've noticed now I'm just going to put some shadows in. 
it makes a burnt umber and ultramarine. Be a shadow on the chimney there. Also down the side of the chimney pot, which is done in just pure white red. There'll also be a shadow on the roof. Down. And a shadow there. On this side. Some clean water gently soften that shadow. Light red <coughs> cobalt blue. Just add some bricks. Maybe some in here. Just drop it in and let it merge. This. All these little details help you to end up with a better painting and now that everything's in we can turn our attention to the pathway <coughs> so with some clean water out there, all the way up to the house light red and cobalt blue pushing it backwards all the time as you push it backwards through the water it will get lighter begin to strengthen it up in areas Rip. Pebbles are, you can just see them. Hold on. There's pebbles to really start. Just strengthen parts of the foreground. So I'm just pushing in a little water. Just drop that in. Water. Damp brush again. Soften up all the edges. And if you find that your paper's dried out a little bit, what you can do is just turn it over, clean your board off with a wet rag. Dry it. Turn your paper over so it's on the back side. Re-wet it from the back until it is nicely damp and it will soak through to the front without moving any of the paint that you've put on. It's uneven. Soft brush. Soft the edges off. Okay, welcome back. We've allowed the painting to dry and as I said earlier on I put some masking fluid on in certain areas on the brickwork on the top in the trees, a fence here and some stones on the path. So just take your finger and rub off the masking fluid. Very, very weak mix of the light red. With a tiny touch of firm cobalt blue in it. Just test the strength. If it's too strong. And just gently. It will show up. I don't want to make them any darker than would. Sienna. Into the bushes. It's a mixture of light red. Cobalt blue. Just to add some interest. A different mix. I've just added the uh, burnt sienna ultramarine at the inside of the branches and trunk just stand out a shadow where the 
little stain there, just at the bottom. As you can see I've added the uh, shadow sides to the rocks, it just makes the top of the rocks stand out. And while we've got some white of the stones showing, you can just emphasise parts of it. Make them stand out. This one, the fence, we'll put a shadow side so that we've actually got light against dark and dark against light. Same on here. Just little hints. Now this is a painting that anybody can do. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And you can also find me on Facebook. And I'll leave the link below as well. And thank you for watching.